<laughs> What's up, y'all? We here with the coldest, iciest, most frozen podcast you ever seen. It's Gib. Your boy, Speedy. Speedy, a.k.a. Bones, a.k.a. Bailey M. Martin. That's right. How you feeling today, Bailey? I'm chilling. Chilling? Chilling. Yeah? We kind of had Another a good day yesterday, huh? Very good day yesterday. A lot of pairs coming in, a lot of pairs going out. A lot of pairs are leaving. As you can probably see behind us, it's yeah. a little empty. So if you got pairs for sale, bring them in. Located in Palm Beach, 9091 North Military yep. Trail. That is the northwestern hemisphere of the earth. Yep. Uh, in South USA, Florida. United States of America Incorporated, 1776. <laughs> yep. So uh, So what do you got there? This this is something I've been fidgeting with. It's a, a CPF. Isn't this yours? That is mine, yeah. What would Cactus do? Hang um, that in your rear view mirror. And it's for sale, actually, for $120. So. Are you serious? You're waxing. <laughs> Check it out on Grail. They sell for like 100 bucks. <laughs> this is $100? Yeah. You heard it first. $120, oh, cold shoulder. Got a story about that, actually. Go ahead. So sold that on Grail initially and sold it to, I think, somebody in Germany. <clears throat> so if you're watching, they're watching it with German subtitles. Um, and <laughs> I definitely... <laughs> put the wrong address on it or like I spelled the address wrong and um, yeah, it got my Grail account frozen and also screwed up my PayPal account too. <laughs> oh, wrong so, <laughs> I was looking for this one. So yeah, I don't ship internationally anymore because I suck at it. I've actually uh, lost money internationally shipping too on Grail. It yeah. was to a military base and uh, it was an essentials nylon <laughs> it was a base. military base? It was a military base yeah. and a Probably should have known it was a scam from the beginning, I guess. Yeah. But I lost some money and the pants, so that was no fun. Well. Let's talk about a couple losses. I'll run that, that track. Let's talk, some, Let's talk about some uh, some of your worst I, flips. I definitely have a lot of them to talk about. The one that I was thinking in particular is like retail hits. What do you do with your retail hits you regret doing now? Two of them. First one. Actually, I don't regret it. It was Crimson Tint Jordan 1s. Um, obviously, retail 170. But I... Warm to the ground. I still wear them. They're beyond. You play ball in them, right? I played ball in them. Yeah, like heavily. Yeah, and I don't know what do they go for now. Three fifty, some shit like that. Probably more. I haven't checked in a while. So, but I wore those. The other one, metallic purple force. Retail was like what two twenty after mm-hmm. tax and everything two twenty or something. Um, held on to them for like a couple months. I was like, man, these aren't doing nothing. Sold them on StockX for what like two seventeen. Probably retail. Now it's like a four hundred dollars shoe. Four hundred dollars shoe, but oh. that was like t- what two years ago or something? Three years ago? Yeah. So it's like you had to wait three years to make. I had to wait three more. years to make three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Yeah. The one I was thinking of for yeah. you is actually. Oh, you were thinking of one for me? For, for you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. <laughs> Lucky Green Jordan One. <laughs> oh wait, the the scam. The scam. <laughs> That's not a retail <laughs> hit. <laughs> Tell me about that, Bailey. Um. Well, uh, it's a really simple story. Um, Twitter, it's a great place. A lot of communication on Twitter. Um, there was a guy on Twitter impersonating another account. I forget what the account was, but in hindsight, I was being dumb, and I cash apped. It was a good deal for the Lucky Greens, and yeah, cash app for him. Yo, send me tracking number, whatever you can. Didn't say nothing. You know, hit him up the next day, send me tracking Classic case of you're blocked now. See ya. See ya. There's 240 down the drain. And we're saying that. So give me a give me a sound effect. There's 240 down the drain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course. Good one. <laughs> but I, I was I wanted to bring that up so that y'all know that there are so many scams out there with yes. these online purchases. Something like that was when the shoe was going for retail. You were buying it for retail. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. And I, well, I mean, it was going for like. Low 200s. Low 200s. Yeah. Nothing more than 210. And what sucked most was like in the beginning of Cold Shoulder, like we were buying really heavy. Mm-hmm. And honestly, Jules was doing a lot of buying. He he was really good at buying Going pairs. crazy. He was going crazy. We were all going crazy. Mm-hmm. And so that was a pair that I was trying to buy for the store. And I was like, yo, Lucky Green. Because we even wanted Burrito, to- Burrito, we'll take it. Yeah. And like we wanted to talk podcast with it, you know, maybe shoot some content with the shoe. When it first it, came out. Yeah, it was a new shoe and yeah. took an L on that. I just felt like an idiot, but it's all right. Um, you live and learn. So now you know. Don't use Cash App. If they ask you for Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, treat it like cash. So it's like if, it's as soon cash. as you send it, the money's gone. Yeah, like, you have to be ready for that. So watch out for those scams. There's a few more I could think yeah. of, but these aren't really scams. Uh, I'm gonna talk about <laughs> ty- talking about Tyler's. <laughs> what? Which one is Tyler's? 
He had a he he would tell you if he was on the podcast. I promise. It's a Travis Four Cactus mm. Jack Four. Got it for retail. Sold it for three hundred bucks. Mm. Oh. Julian bought a Twist Jordan One for retail. Sold it for retail. Now it's like a K. Oh, the black and white twist. The black and white Sheesh. twist high, panda high, whatever you call it. Mine was a Kentucky Dunk. I got it for retail. I sold it for like one seventy. Oh my! Now God. it's like eight hundred DS. That one's a crazy one. That's a crazy one because it's a dunk. It's a blue and white dunk. It's nothing crazy. Like the shoes are not that crazy. How about all right, all right? Retail dub. Retail dub. Well, me. I'll start with mine. Go ahead. You probably know what it is. Maybe. What is it? Supreme SP. Dunk low. Oh yeah, forgot about yeah. that. I manual cop that on PC or on, on black Mac. colorway, right? Yeah, black. The stars. I wore them on our soft opening. Fire shoe. Honestly, kind of regret selling it just because I really like. I actually really like the shoe, but I sold it to a fiend. Honestly, a fiend. Um, an absolute fiend. And sold he, it for a wax. For a wax, I think nine hundred was pretty fair though. Nine hundred at the time it was probably a little high. That's uh, still a little high. Now it's really high. I think that's what DS goes for. That shoe dropped a lot though, didn't it? Maybe to like a thousand. It can't be less than a thousand. I think they are. Let's see. Let's see. Pop it up here. I don't have my phone, so we're not going to see. Pop up how much it is right I'll, here. I'll uh, pull it up real quick. Why don't you sing the song while I'm pulling it up? No. But what I will say is thank you guys for the support. You're killing it as always. We appreciate uh, everything you're doing for us coming in. We just got a big restock, so come shop. Bunch of clothes, bunch of shoes. Don't sleep. Everything. They are under a band. Lowest ask is $900. 900. That's on 11, but wow. Other sizes, you're looking at you know mid-700s, 800 if you're a size 8, good for you. 724. <clears throat> 724. So, yeah. That was a good retail dub. That's crazy. It was about to look at the other, other colors. Other colors. It. Yeah, let me just see real quick. Wow, even the green is low. The green we sold for 2000 when we first opened. <laughs> now it's 1000 Honestly, that's it's probably a good time to buy that shoe. I would feel like it. Yeah. But it's on a... It's still... It's on a it's downward... It's still going, man. That's really helpful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> StockX, your graph suck. <laughs> Fix them, please. Yeah. But um, you got a new car, huh, Bailey? Yeah, I did. What'd you get? It's a 2015 Hyundai Genesis sedan. Wow. You got some work done today, right? You're going to turn it? <laughs> yeah. What did you get done today? I got an exhaust on it today, so it sounds pretty minty. Nice. It's got a 5.0 V8 in it. Your grandpa used to drive it, now Bones here does. It's got right. an exhaust. That's right. You'll hear him coming from a mile away. Skirting. Speedy. But yeah. Bring in some pairs. We need them. Black, white, dunk. Any dunks, any men's size, we'll pay good. Bid. Maybe the colorway, the amount, lowest ask. Not locking any numbers in now. I mean, just bring the shoe in and say a number and we'll pay for it. <laughs> as long as it's, yeah. That's yeah. facts. U.S. dollars, cryptocurrency. We now accept crypto. Maybe we should talk about that. Would you ever hmm. consider, I would consider it. Would you ever consider taking Ethereum or Bitcoin? If someone... Text to me right now said, yo, I want this. Will mm -hmm. you take Ethereum? I'd say yes. I think I would too. I just don't know how it would work with gas fees though. Well, when you send it, I when guess. When you send it to somebody, You would have gas? to charge for the gas fees and it, yeah, I would charge you gas. You know, it's like $20 to send $500 in Ethereum. Oh, okay. I didn't know. If I'm you're sorry. buying something, it's Yeah. Fine. I guess sending it is a lot less than when you're trying to mint something or buy something. I would do it. I love Ethereum. Keeps tanking. I keep losing money. <laughs> I don't know how we always get to talking about NFTs or crypto. And yeah. Every single time. That's it's unavoidable. Did you talk that with Joe? Did you guys talk yep. NFTs at all? Yeah. Yep. But uh, something that I've realized, like with NFTs and a business in general, is <clears throat> before the business and everything, I used to be kind of like a saver with my money. Just like any money I would get, save it, put in the bank. You know, save, put in the bank. But like you kind of realize that you're not going to make money by doing that like mm -mm. money in the bank is just sitting there it's essentially losing money really with how high inflation is right now mm -hmm. but any where i'm going with this is like once i started you know spending money whatever the saying is spend money to make money that's kind of you have to like take risks in life a little bit definitely take a risk yeah risk in the business risk nfts shit even reselling is risking you know definitely risking there's something we uh some pairs patent breads we bought a bunch breads. of patent breads for like three hundred dollars, oh, three fifty, yeah. four hundred dollars. Then they, they tank. Re yeah, restocked or whatever. And we sold them for about what we paid. But now, you know, they're up again. It's been two weeks. That shoe's gonna always skyrocket. Yeah, that shoe's just gonna go up. Y'all want to make be some a five thousand dollars shoe in two years? <laughs> okay, no. Y'all want to make some money on pairs? 
What do you think for a shoe to make money holding onto the pairs? Make money on a hold? Mm -hmm. Atmospheres for sure. The bubble gums, I Definitely. think that's going to be a good hold. That's a good one. Thunders. I mean, red thunders. okay, so I'm saying all this, take all this with a grain of salt if you're watching. Like, these are just my opinion and his opinion, like what we think. I think the bubble gums will do well. It's a good colorway. It's a Jordan 1. Sure, Jordan, you can pretty much say almost any Jordan 1, it's going to go up in a year. Um, But yeah, bubble gums. Basically, yeah. I think, the, one. I think the Thunder 4s are going to go up a lot too. Crazy. I mean, look how high. You know what's a shoe I regret not buying? <clears throat> 50? White Oreo. Cool gray 11. Mm. They're already at like $400. We were buying pairs for 250 right after release. <laughs> 240 Yeah. It's already $400. Anyone that bought a lot of pairs of those, congrats. You did good. Cool Grays definitely went up a lot. Are you looking to invest in any pairs soon? To invest in any pairs? Mm. Not particularly. I mean, what about you? No. <laughs> I'm going to stick with crypto. <laughs> <laughs> But no, Fuck shoes. I'm sticking with me. crypto. <laughs> I do. I got a couple pairs at home. I got an atmosphere at home. Uh, I got a couple pairs at home. Yeah. Whatever. Nothing crazy. But I picked up I a new have... shoe I'm pretty happy about for personal. Ooh. It's a Shadow 1.0. Got it from my boy Joe. He blessed me. Nice. Came with the Foxtrot laces. If you know about those, shout out you. Gotta throw the... <laughs> yep. Gotta throw the laces. <laughs> gotta. <laughs> Man, they're fire, though. They look good with the shoe. Check out yeah. Foxtrot. They're Screw right. it. I would take my shoe off right now, but I'm not going to do that. They're okay laces. I'm not crazy about it, but... Better than Nike laces. I guess. I don't know. I don't really wear Nikes anymore. What do you wear? I don't know. Vans. Nah, what do you really wear? That's actually kind of true. You don't wear Nikes much anymore. I don't wear them too much. I have, like... Well, I'm wearing Jedi SBs right now, which... Wow. I like those a lot. Um, I like SBs. You're like a New Balance guy. Yeah, now. I have New Balances. Adidas, um, Yeezy, you're obsessed with this Yeezys, Yeezy 350 yeah. V1s. I have Pirate Blacks. I like those a lot. <clears throat> I like Oxford Tans. My Oxford, Oxford Tans I have. What are you looking for right now? I already know what Looking it is. for? Mm -hmm. What? what are you? You're looking for, I feel like you want to complete the 350 set. Oh, yeah. Turtle Doves would be nice. <clears throat> Turtle yeah. Dove, what's the other one? Sand? Desert uh, Sand? Turtle Doves and... Um, Oxford Tan and... Turtle, Oxford, Pirate Black. Oh, Moon Rock. There it is. There it is. Moon Rock. Moon Rock. And I think there's one more, actually. A fifth? Uh, possibly. It's like a blush colored one, maybe. There ain't no fifth. There's foe. Just tripping. 4PF. Shout out 4PF. Little well, baby. Either way, we'll, people will let us know in the comments. So Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments if <laughs> we're <laughs> absolutely dead fucking wrong. <laughs> is there four or five? Yeah. There's probably six. Seven. That's crazy. No, but I'd like to get... These are kind of on my watch list. Mm. I'd like to get some Guava Union 4s. That's a nice pair. Yeah, I like those a lot. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get them like in a price that I want, but the a friend of mine just got them, the No Emotions, um, Joe Fresh Good New Balances. That's a nice pair. But that's an expensive pair. What did he pay? He paid like 1500 for them. I think, tw yeah, 12 or 13 15 For a New whatever. Balance, that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. They do have high retail, but not that high. Not that high. <laughs> What's retail? Two, two fifty. It depends on the model, but like the ones made in America are like two fifty. That's crazy. Nine nineties, nine nine threes. I think people want these New Balance so much that they're two hundred fifty dollars. Yep. Into twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Ten. Four, what is that? Four X markup? Yeah. Five. Possibly 6x markup on a New Balance. You never heard of that 10 years People ago. People want these New Balances. Get them New Balances. If you have New Balances, bring them in. We got a couple pairs. We need more. We actually did get a couple of nice pairs. We got some of the UNC, what are they, 550s? 550s. Those are nice. Joe Fresh Goods. The Not the No Emotions one. The Outside Clothes. Ooh, not those the cool. No Emotion one, though. No, I have a pair of those. Outside Clothes are, yeah. Outside Clothes are like the brown and blue. Yeah. Um, That's a nice pair. Yeah. Need more new balances. What are y'all's favorite shoes right now? What's something on your list? Put that in the comments. We need that in the comments. We need the comments. We're Follow the pairs you taking want. Taking a survey. And it, the best comment placed, Bailey's going to reward somehow. <laughs> Don't know how. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Who knows? You might be getting a CPF And that best email. comment, you'll figure out also. I got a question Front for you. Front running it. We got 50 pairs. Okay. It was like 50 on the dot, I think. 50 pairs, like 52 tees, and it was like... I don't know how much, 15000 ish You don't know what we bought each pair at, but you see 
the deal because we brought it back to the store. Obviously, you inventoried yeah. it. Well, how do you feel about it? Um, you think we did good? I think so. I mean, you know, you always think you want to buy shoes for cheaper, of course. Of course. But Sometimes you can't. Um, I think for who we bought it from and, like, the short notice that we were like, we, we need to get pairs. Let's do that. Make this happen. I think it was for a pretty good deal. Mm-hmm. We needed pairs. Yeah. We found a buyout within an hour. Yep. Went to the buyout, cashed them out. That was it. Easy, done in one day. Yeah. It's and I think something we're noticing, like, as we get bigger as a store with more volume of shoes, like, leaving, you kind of have to pay the high mm-hmm. to get shoes like that. Because there's not always going to be somebody willing to sell for payout or under payout. Especially when you're selling 50 pairs. You're selling 50 <laughs> pairs. It's a luxury to the buyer, usually. Exactly, yeah. You know? So, so I mean... I don't want to advertise on the internet. Hey, we're paying more for shoes. But we're paying but more for we're shoes. Paying more so for sh- we, we got them for sale. I used to joke around and be like, cold shoulder, we pay top dollar. More and more, we're getting closer to paying top dollar. Like, you know. T- paying top dollar, selling the cheapest prices. Where's our margin? I don't know where the hell it is. It's not in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you need the shoes, yeah. you do what you have to do. Right. And if it's good shoes, it doesn't matter because no. the shoe speaks for the, itself. You don't have to sell it. Right. It's a black, white dunk, you know. It's hey, sell still a new business, you know. We haven't even hit a year yet. We're still kind of, honestly, if I had to put in words, we're you know building the plane while we're flying it, you know. <laughs> He's got so many of these little sayings, and they just <laughs> surprise me every time. So can, do you have one more? I got another one. Uh, you know, uh, when you're investing in issues, uh, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, mix up, you know, diversify your portfolio. Wait. And on that note, y'all, thank you for tuning into another podcast. <laughs> we can't end it on a weird, on some quirky <laughs> shit. <laughs> Who's the quirkiest? Put it in the comments. Me or Bailey? We all know who it was. We know Bailey, who it was. You win. I win. Oh, I win the. Again, folks, one hundred twenty dollars. Best comment. I'll be rewarding you. One hundred twenty dollars. One hundred. Yeah, I'll reward you this best comment in. in the, one hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> Not one hundred twenty bucks. I'll give you this. That's one hundred twenty. I believe so, yeah. Throw up a grub listing. Uh, Sorry, that's funny to me. 120. Yeah. Cold shoulder, we have the cheapest Wait, are we, are we actually ending this hoe or Put what? it to 60. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We're getting out of here. What time is it? No. <laughs> Sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. You want to go ahead and do the outro. Do the outro? Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you guys for tuning thank in. Thank you guys for tuning I don't know how the hell y'all stayed in through all this shit, but thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm Speedy. AKA the man, AKA Bones or Boneyard. Boneyard, forgot about that. Boneyard. And it's General Grievous here. <laughs> ah, General Grievous, I want that one. I'm That's Gen- fire. I don't care, I'm General Grievous. <laughs> All right, fine. Kenobi. <laughs> Have you heard that sound? Uh, oh, God. General All Grievous right. here, Boneyard, signing out. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you. Love you guys. The iciest, coldest, most frozen. I can never think of a fourth thing to say. Iciest, coldest, most frozen, hottest? <laughs> you can't say hot. <laughs> Coolest, coldest podcast Ooh. you ever seen. Did you say Frosty? Frosty as hell. See you later. Peace. Hey, cold shoulder kicks got me feeling like I won the lotto. Might just have to ice out on my wrist. This AK fully auto. I've been balling like I'm Katie. Oh, McGrady on Toronto. Never get